Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, again with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about all things leg lifters. So if you've seen any of my videos before, I use leg lifters often, and they're a wonderful tool. And so today I wanted to go over four different types of leg lifters that you could use to improve your lower body movement. So oftentimes leg lifters are used in situations where you're recovering from a surgical procedure or an injury or even some elevated swelling or pain that has caused weakness in one leg or another. Now it's really important to recognize that a leg lifter when applied is actually considered weight bearing because it's pulled through the bottom of the foot traditionally. So if you're somebody who is a full non weight bearing on a lower extremity, you must ask permission before using a leg lifter to assist with your movement. So please clarify that with your surgeon or healthcare provider before using a leg lifter. But these are awesome to help with getting in and out of bed, perhaps getting in and out of the shower, even lifting a leg on and off of a wheelchair footrest. So they have a lot of value. You can make some at home, you can purchase them, and I'm gonna kinda go over four different types that you can both make at home with things you already have or purchase if you're interested in doing so. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing I'm gonna show you is how to use your own body as a leg lifter. This is a strategy that we see a lot, especially with stroke survivors who have one limb that's significantly weaker than the other. So in this situation, I'm gonna show you how to do it from bed level. We're gonna use my right leg to assist my left leg in getting in and out of bed. This again is a really common thing that we see and educate folks on if they're out in the community. So simply doing this, you're going to take the right leg in this situation or your stronger leg and you're going to slide your toes under your ankle of your weaker leg, in this situation, my left leg. Once they are crossed like this, I can use my right leg to assist in guiding the left leg out of bed. So I'm simply going to lift and scoot, lift and scoot, lift and scoot. Now obviously I made that look easier. If you had some weakness or some struggles, that could take a little bit of practice and it could take some strengthening for that leg to be able to do the lifting. But that's an awesome option if you don't have any tools available and simply want to use your strong leg to assist a weaker or injured leg. Okay, so that's the first option. Let's talk about our next option. The next most common way we set up leg lifters for clients is with a belt. Now whether that's a canvas belt like this um, or a gate belt perhaps if you have one available to you, these are really common. I, I'll show you my trick with this. The most important thing when doing it with a canvas one because they're quite floppy, is you wanna make sure to leave the loop portion of it as large as possible. That's going to make it easier to hook over your foot. So with this type, you're gonna to have to have decent core strength and control as I prop myself up on one elbow. We're gonna demonstrate it with my left leg again, and I'm simply going to launch that loop over the foot, right like that. If I had had a hip replacement, I'm still beyond 90 degrees. Perhaps if I had a knee replacement, it would prevent me from having to bend that knee. But now I can lift with my arm and I can shift that leg over. Again, in small increments, we're not looking to do big movements and that will help me guide that foot out. Okay, so that's the canvas belt. The next step up would be a leather belt. I like a leather belt because they're stiffer. They're gonna give you a little bit more hold. So in this one, it's a nice new belt so it's got a lot of rigidity to it. So for some folks, these are much easier. See how it stays a little bit more firm? It can reach around the foot with a lot more control and it's a little easier to get back off the foot because it's more rigid. So again, compared to the canvas belt, a leather belt is gonna be your next step up. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pull and shift, pull and shift, pull and shift all the way off the bed. So you see those work fairly similarly. Next option. This is your standard run-of-the-mill leg lifter. These things are really very affordable, um, available on pretty much any of the major retailers. They're really useful. They come with two loops. This loop is the small loop that goes over the hand that's going to be assisting. The larger loop is on the other end. They're rigid with metal inside of them to allow them to be reached out without having to really control the end like I did with the belt options. So this one, you're gonna use it very similarly, obviously, hooking around the foot and for me, I'm kind of short, so I have to actually kind of wrap my hand around it a few times, which is fine, and that's why that loop is handy. And this one I'm gonna lift, and it's even a little easier than the other two because of the rigidity. And again, drop my foot off the edge. 
So that's a standard leg lifter. I wanted to demo this additional leg lifter as this is a new product. This is by uh, Vive and it's a ProFlex. This is a leg lifter that also doubles as an exercise aid if you're somebody, say, recovering from a knee replacement. And I'll show you in just a second how that works. I have it fashioned right now to be a standard leg lifter. You simply apply a Velcro strap to the middle of it to give it the same leg lifter shape and functionality. So again, you can put your arm through the loop and use it like a standard leg lifter. Very rigid, these things come very, very rigid, and it works really well. Or, what I really like is if you remove this strap, this is what makes this product kind of unique, is now it separates like this. So you can see it's got kind of a different shape. It also has these additional handles down below, which I really like, and what you can do with this is now I can use both arms to help me with my leg. And the nice thing about that is if I have some upper body weakness and my leg is particularly weak or heavy, perhaps it's full of fluid or very swollen, this would be really useful to have two handles to grip onto and two hands to lift and move a particularly stubborn limb off the edge of the bed or out of the shower or off the leg rest of your wheelchair. So that's a really nice feature of this. So that's cool. The other reason that they gave it the two open spots is a lot of times we use leg lifters for an exercise program to assist with knee bends. So if you're doing knee slides in bed with two hands like this, now I can use it to pull, to flex, and to push because it's rigid to extend. That's why it's got the closed loop at the tip. So this is a multi-use tool, a little bit more expensive, but you get a little bit more bang for your buck. So there you have it. Four options for you to use for leg lifters if you need help with moving a heavy, swollen, weak, sore limb in and out of bed, in and out of the shower, off of a leg rest, you name it. I hope you got some value out of this video. If so, consider giving me a thumbs up. Leave your comments and questions down below. And as always, if you need more information, how to stay safe and secure and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.